so one of the featured artists you mentioned on the EP, Lola. Yeah, Lola God held, yeah. I would say how you met, how did you meet her, but you can tell me you found her on the internet. Did you find her? No, on I knew her as well. Okay, you yeah. knew her, okay, cool. I feel like everybody just saw you <laughs> somewhere. <Yeah. laughs> um, break down that track for us. What was um, that all about for you and why did you decide to put it on the EP? Yeah, it's love lost, love lost. Like, I, like we were talking about before, I'm big on relationships, I'm big on, on love because I guess I felt I was never good at it. Mm. So I always try to sometimes think back on how situations could have panned out. And so that one was particular was when I met my wife, we were friends and I'd had a history of being friends with girls mm. and then falling for them and not knowing how to do that transition. You're the friend zone guy? Yeah, friend zone guy. Okay. Yeah, was, that's me. <laughs> you. You I've <laughs> seen you before. <laughs> yes, that's me. That's You're me. The that's guy. me, hey. There's memes of you all over the I internet. know, I know. It's annoying. <laughs> it's just true. Um, so I was, I, was, I was notorious for doing that and I got into a lot of trouble. Sorry to all you. Um, Sorry, guys. All quick. So um, <laughs> I was notorious for doing that. And with my wife, the same thing kind of happened. We were good friends. But we were friends, mm. like, like friends without trying to be anything else. Yeah. Um, and then the situation came whereby she had feelings for me and uh, I did have them, but I wasn't sure of them. And so I was not prepared to be put into any yeah. corner. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to, in this situation and what had happened in the past, I wasn't true to myself, but in this situation, I just needed to decide for myself. And, you know, thankfully, I mean, at the time I said, you know what, let's just be friends. Thankfully, she was just like, you know what, you're my friend and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change just because mm. of that situation. So we carried on, eventually we got married. But I always thought when I think about these relationships that, hmm, what if that didn't pan out that way? Yeah. What if we literally remain friends and then she was gonna get married? What would my position be? How would I feel watching that? But knowing in my heart that- It's not 100% what you want. Yeah, like, uh, man, I wanted to be with this girl. And now this guy has got her forever. I've lost out. So I've lost this love. And so it's weird because I actually saw a um, Grey's Anatomy um, uh, episode yeah. where that exact kind of situation happened. So I had a visual for it and I thought, you know, I want to put this in a song. And so I literally just took, tried to take the listener through that experience of me being in the pews, listening and watching everything, being like, yeah, this is great, but man, that should have been me that, you know, has it started from truth of the matter is I shouldn't even be here. It's your wedding day, that should be me there. I knew you before you knew him. If I lose you, I lose everything. Why has I got to cross find myself in the friend zone? Now it feels cold and I'm all alone. Few know the secret that my heart holds. Mum said you lost what you had, son, just let it go. And so it's me literally thinking, oh my days, this is a mad situation. Yeah. But then it progresses and it's like, you know what, if we're gonna do anything, we've got to do it now. What I'm about to do now will cause a scene sitting in the front row thinking about you and me because a lifetime with you ain't enough in death I'll search for your warm love and touch I can see a sun sea sand with mojitos dancing to calypso on a honeymoon float so I don't care what's going to happen now whatever I do now if it ends up me regaining that love I'll just do it yeah. you know and so the, the, I won't say the last verse because if you ain't bought it if you haven't bought the EP <laughs> you will, if you knew if you bought the EP you would know what happens at the end but you didn't buy it, buy it so I'm not about to tell you but in the third no verse, spoilers, no, no spoilers. spoilers, yeah. But in the last verse, you find out what really happened mm. as a result of me saying it. And what I wanted to do in that song was, that song is not from actually my perspective. Yeah. When you hear the end of it, you know that the song's not actually put from my perspective and, yeah. and in terms of my viewpoint. It's actually about, you know, women, sometimes a lot of women say, you know, men don't know what they, but also women don't know what they want. Sometimes women are at a situation where they're like, they let, they let the good guy go. Mm. I thought you want, but I thought that's what you wanted it. No, I want to kill her. All right, well, do you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What do you? It's you a <laughs> okay, yeah, that was. Big. I want to murder her, please. <laughs> well, I'm saying, what do you do? You, <laughs> do you also know what you want? Yeah. If you're able to pinpoint it, do you also know what you want? And I love talking about relationships in songs, especially because everyone goes through. So in terms of my connectivity and that, that um, desire to always connect with people, I know that relationships will always be a, a touching point that everyone can come together and be like, yeah, hey, that's me. Yeah. I, I hear that point, so. So there was a point on the EP where you decided to have a bit of fun. Yes, surprisingly. <laughs> you never have any fun. 
serious now? That's why I did it as well. No, that's <laughs> oh, that's why. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you should perform this at your shows then because this is going to be a good one for it's you true, to, it's true. to relax a little bit. I'll take that on board. So this one is wordplay. Yeah. And this is you, let's be honest, showing off a little bit. Yeah. But in a nice way. Yeah. Not in a sort of bragging, I put all these cars away. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> and it's something that we have touched upon quite, quite a bit in the interview. It is that you love writing lyrics. Yeah, yeah, no. Did you find this one easy to write? Was this one easy for you? Was it sort of something that just came quite naturally? Or was it the hardest one? Hardest. It was the hardest, okay. Do you know why? Because, when I, like I said, I pick beats out of feeling. and But I'm realising, you know, and we talked about it through the whole situation that with the seriousness and nobody, not everybody wants to listen to like serious stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Deep emotions and oh, like nobody, some people sometimes, music is an escapism for a lot of people. So I don't want to hear all that deep, stuff so i thought you know what let me try and make a song I, you know that's a lie i didn't even want to make the song <laughs> do you know what i'm saying i, I um, it was played in the studio by it was sent to me um and i heard it and i was like okay i can hear a melody flow on it mm. well, let me just park that okay because it's not saying anything emotional <laughs> it's not saying anything deep you know it's not connecting yeah so i kind of parked it but i then went back to it because i thought yeah but you don't write, you always write with like this intention. And try and write, but just write mm. and enjoy the process. I was it's like, okay, really you know what, let's try it. And so I brought it out again. And it was the first kind of time when I was like thinking, you know what, let's just flow, guys. Just see where it goes. And I started the first two lines and I could see that there was, you know, a kind of a, a play on words. Yeah. So I was like, okay, quickly, use that for the chorus. And just playing with the <laughs> word play. And, it, and even the way I was doing it in the studio, I remember I was smiling in the, in the, in the booth and I, I thought, yeah, yeah, try and carry that in the song. Mm. Try, something light, it's just it's like people don't have to think. Um, but then I also still wanted to take the whole, the art form of it mm -hmm. and put that in it and yeah. make every line something you would have to figure out because I'm saying let's play with the wordplay, okay, you're going to have to listen a bit closely of how I'm playing with the wordplay. And, you know, um, born in South, moved out to the West, studied in North Farm, Grime in East. Um, can't remember the rest. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, there's different parts of where I was just thought, it, I want to take you to different parts of, of my mind as I'm writing. Yeah. And, um, but let's have fun with it. Even yeah. the girl that features the little voice you can hear in it, if you bought it, you would know. <laughs> um, even the little girl that features on it. Get it. Um, <laughs> get it. <laughs> get it. Um, <laughs> A little girl called Layla, um, she's part of, um, she's the daughter of uh, one of the guys on my management team. Um, and she just got into the booth, it was a struggle to get her on there, but, because um, she didn't want to say it, how we wanted her to say it. Yeah. Um, and even says, yes, we can. I didn't want to say it, she can. I wanted her to actually say, I'm just playing with the word play, can I play, can I play? Yeah. Yes, you can, yes, you can. She right, said, yes, okay. we can. I had to just roll with that, because okay, cool. she, she ain't coming to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was just a fun track and I would I swear I'm still warming to it because okay. it's not a beat that I would have picked yeah. because it wasn't saying something deep but <laughs> I'm getting used to the fact that you know what have have a song that people can just vibe to mm -hmm. and I hopefully when, like you said when I go and perform that people can get in on that and yeah. help me as well so when, you, when I go and perform the song the more you're into it the more I'm into it the give and take thing. Yeah, it's give and take. Give and take thing. Yeah. It's gonna be weird though to work it into your show now because if you open with it, it's gonna be like, hey, and then it's gonna be like, Ew. no, but I, what, <laughs> but because of that, I've started to make more. More. All right, cool. That's more, what I was gonna say. Yeah. More of that kind of, um, yeah, just light-hearted stuff. It's good that it's, it's it's allowing you to learn new things about yourself. Like yeah, to find true. Ways to express yourself. True, true. Soon you'll be wearing like red and green bright coloured clothing. I have red and green, I was wearing that today. Oh, there you go. You're going to be it's a my wife that done that though, I don't. <laughs> You're going to be a completely different me. person soon. Yeah, yeah, true. Amen. So can we ask, I know this is about the Phoenix, the EP, but mm -hmm. can you give us a little snippet into what you've got planned for the future? What's coming next? Yes, I mean... Don't spoil it. Yeah, me. I don't want to say too much because you, know, you know how things happen. Yeah. Um, but an album has uh, is definitely on the horizon, 100%, because... For me, that's the ultimate. That's like, if, if I can make the album and then I have to stop music, making music, mm. that's fine. Because for me, that would be my ultimate goal and achievement. Yeah. If it was the chart, whatever it was, it's a, 
for me personally, that's irrelevant. My, if my success would be, ha you know, release, putting out a release date and saying, this is the iTunes link to it. So the album is something that I'm working on. It's actually kind of done. It's weird. I've actually finished it. It's weird, I just remember. I've actually finished, finished it, by the way, guys. <laughs> it's actually, it's out tomorrow. It's actually finished. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure there was music of consistency yeah, of rather than, oh, and that's it. I wanted there to be music. So the EPs are the consistency. Uh, consistently up to the actual drop yeah. of the album and I know that like you said along the road there's so much developments that are happening in my life personally and in and, and the musical sphere that I just feel that it'll be even what I have mm -hmm. as the album I'm so sure 100% that what I put out will not be it right, okay. because I know that will be still That's more that I'll be on, adding yeah. and so by the time we get to the finished product it will be exactly what I want to do so well, we look forward to it thank you thank we you can't wait yeah. So if you don't know already, if you haven't understood what's going on, <laughs> <laughs> the Phoenix EP is out right now. It's out now, get it. Get it, get, get it. it. You've been watching The Rise of the Phoenix, the interview. I'm Julia Denuga. This is IC. Thank you. Make sure you follow, what's your Twitter? Follow you My Twitter. Twitter is ICIE Music. My Instagram is ICIE Music. That's nice. I like that you've kept it uniform. Yeah. You haven't put like underscore at the end. Oh, no, that's it. I don't like underscores. Go and get the EP right now. It's the Phoenix EP. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.